Unfortunately, Billy Joe Saunders has been denied a boxing license by the Massachusetts State Athletic Commission. And according to the promoter of the show that Billy Joe was supposed to be on, fighting Demetrius Andrade, his mandatory challenger, according to Hearn, the WBO have already stated that they will strip Billy Joe if he's denied his license. Well, he's been denied his license, so can we expect the WBO to strip Billy Joe? What I will say is Frank Warren has had a very, very long and close relationship with the WBO going all the way way back to the 1990s when the WBO was first formed. He's been close with them since then. So if any promoter out there could somehow find a way for his fighter to retain their title and not be stripped in this situation... It will be Frank Warren with the WBO. So we'll see if Warren can work his magic and Billy Joel keeps his title. And yeah, we'll see what's going to happen here, people. It's obviously going to be massively disappointing for Billy Joel because this was going to be a career high payday for him. If you remember, Matchroom won the purse bid. And actually, was it a purse bid? Or was it an an agreement? I'm not sure if it was a purse bid, was it? It was, they just agreed and it didn't even go to a purse bid because Eddie Hearn offered Billy Joe that much money. So, yeah, it is what it is. Will Billy Joe be stripped? Do you guys think he should be stripped? I've seen a lot of people talk about karma. Like, Billy Joe's done a lot of questionable things in the past. He hasn't been the most morally upstanding person. And so karma is caught up to him. I don't really believe in karma. Or at the very least, I would say if karma exists, there are many people who somehow manage to circumvent it. (laughs) That's what I'll tell you. Many people who manage to circumvent karma. Uh, I just think that it's a situation where Billy Joel should have taken greater care, really. If he wasn't, deliberately cheating you know on purpose then he just should have taken greater care with whatever medication he was taking a nasal spray anytime you're taking chemicals into your body like that medicine or uh, training supplements you need to be very very meticulous when it comes to looking at the ingredients you need you need to have a member of your team who will look at the ingredients for you And you've got Dominic Ingle who trains Billy Joel. He's a guy who's very much into bodybuilding and nutrition and all that kind of stuff. Why wasn't he checking the ingredients of what Billy Joel was using and making sure it wasn't on the VADA band list? Because they had access to the VADA band list. So why weren't they looking at that? You know, if it's an honest mistake, it's a terrible, terrible oversight by Team Saunders. So, yeah, we'll see what happens here, people. It appears that the fight is definitely off, which is a big disappointment. I was looking forward to Billy Joel versus Demetrius Andrade. And it's a disappointment, really, for Eddie Hearn, to some extent, because Billy Joel's a very colorful character. And the banter, the potential animosity between him and Andrade would have helped to sell the fight and sell that show. He's already got a replacement in who is, you know, the next available contender in the WBO rankings. He's an African guy who nobody's heard of, including myself. That don't mean he can't fight though, but nobody's heard of him. That will be more difficult to sell than Saunders versus Andrade. But having said that, it might be an easier fight for Andrade to win. We'll see. For all I know, this African guy could be an absolute beast or then again he could be justifiably obscure (laughs) you know he should be he could be somebody who is obscure and really needs to be obscure because they can't really fight at world level we'll find out but my overall feeling is disappointment because I was looking forward to the fight and people want to talk about karma and that's their business but as far as I'm concerned it was If you're looking at this optimistically or uh, 
what's the opposite of cynical? <laughs> if you're looking at it optimistically, you would have to say Billy Joel just made a massive oversight, him and his team, not checking the ingredients of that nasal spray. But if you want to be cynical, you could say Billy Joel was deliberately juicing by using that nasal spray because it gives you a boost to your workouts and that's why Vada have banned it. Now, it has to be said as well that I've heard or read, sorry, reports online that Billy Joel's B sample came back negative. And if that's true, it's interesting that he was still denied a license by the Massachusetts Athletic Committee. Athletic Commission if his B sample was negative. So I don't know, man. It's uh it'd be very interesting to see all the evidence behind the scenes, which I'm sure we won't. <laughs> you know, and I'm sure there's probably confidentiality agreements and all that kind of stuff. And in fact, keeping in true Billy Joe Saunders style, the word is that Billy Joe got the news during a conference call or well, he was on the phone or whatever to the commission uh, when they told him that they weren't going to give him a license. And he apparently told them to suck his beep <laughs> during the phone call or the, or the conference <laughs> or the conference call. And that's something Billy Joel is probably not going to regret because I don't think he ever plans on fighting in Massachusetts anyway. You know, they denied him a license this time, so I can't see him ever going back there anyway. So it ain't going to make no difference. He wouldn't do that to the British board, I don't think. But to the Massachusetts State Athletic Commission, yeah, he feels like he's never going to fight there anyway. So he wants to tell them where to go. Yeah, let me know how you feel about this story in the comment section below, people. Do you think Billy Joe's been hard done by? Do you think he will get stripped of his belt? And I also want to entertain any conspiracy theories that people have about this fight. Yes, I want to entertain those two because boxing is a dirty business. And I'm not going to dismiss the fact that there could have been some type of foul play or bias. Uh, uh, people in positions of power who are biased in some way. I'm not going to dismiss that possibility. Now, obviously, nobody has gone in there and made Billy Joe take this nasal spray. But what I'm saying is when it comes to the decision on a nasal spray and the decision on whether to, to uh, sanction the fight with Billy Joe and Andrade, there could have been people on the Andrade side of things, either his broadcaster, his promoter or whoever, in positions of power and influence with the Massachusetts State Athletic Commission who might have thought to themselves, you know what? Billy Joe's a tough fight for Demetrius Andrade. Andrade's been out the ring a long time. There's no guarantee he's going to win this fight. If we can get him an easier opponent for this belt, we can build Demetrius Andrade up as a star. You know? And recoup some of the money that we're paying him. <laughs> That's a potential conspiracy theory which I'm sure some people will come up with I'm not saying I believe it at all but I do want to entertain the other side of the argument you know or different possibilities other than what seems like the most uh, mainstream explanation let's just call it that so let me know how you guys feel in the comment section below and and again it's a possibility I'm not making no accusations <laughs> of Andrade's side of the fence uh, or at Andrade's side of the fence. I'm just throwing possibilities out there in the ether. So yeah, let me know how you feel, people. It's happening, I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week, covering a wide variety of controversial topics, as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about two pounds a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, 
you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.